I was not with him when the news broke. I had left for about an hour, and the news broke. And he's a very strong man. I don't think there's many people that could be as classy and strong as he was. He's having a very good day. We had a very good chat. But I want to dig into this now. Every Republican in the country, every conservative in the country, I don't care what kind of conservative you are, we must circle the wagons and defeat the Democrat Party, their DAs in Manhattan, Atlanta, their special counsel in Washington, these cases that they're bringing in Democrat cities with Democrat grand juries, with Democrat judges, with Democrat uh, juries. This is a battle where the Democrat Party has now dragged the country into tyranny. That is what they've done. They want to change the election rules so they can't lose. The borders are wide open. They don't enforce the law. They want to pack the Supreme Court. They want to pack the Senate. They've gone after Trump on the emoluments clause. They've gone after him on everything they possibly can. Now they want to decide who the Republican nominee for president will be. The Democrat Party is the party of profit. It's the party of Stalin. It doesn't believe that babies that are born should be protected after they're born, that it's a choice. This is a party that is out of control. Their DAs are out of control. Alvin Bragg should be disbarred. Rather than wringing our hands, let's take some action. The DA in Atlanta, she should be disbarred. The guy that's running the investigation in Washington, D.C., his family is loaded with Obama Democrats, Jack the Ripper Smith, his ass to be dragged in front of a committee of Congress, whether he likes it or not. And he should be subpoenaed, too. It's time for the Republican Party to understand that this is a war on the party. It is a war on conservatism and MAGA. It is an effort, an effort, to ensure that Donald Trump can never be president again. Look, he's the leading nominee right now in the polls. Have you ever heard of a local DA? bringing phony charges against a possible nominee of the opposite party, the only person this benefits, doesn't benefit justice, it benefits Joe Biden. That's it. 